Today, I am building a giant airport in my mini city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Greentown, baby. Oh my goody goodness, it's looking so good. Look at the statue of the founder. That right there is me. Kiss it. The whole city knows that I am the ruler of town. In the last episode, we leveled up to level four. And oh my God, we have so many new things, including a highway and obviously the airport runway. Would you look at this giant runway? Like, where are we gonna fit this thing? Now, I've learned a lot from your comments. Thank you so much for helping me. Basically, something I didn't understand was that only same level industrial buildings and commercial buildings can work together. So if I click on here, in level one, we We've only got six suppliers, but 17 buyers. So we actually need to add 11 more suppliers. And the same thing for level two, we need to add more buyers. For level three, we need to add more suppliers. And for level four, well, we got nothing because I only just turned level four. Those are among the things we're gonna fix today to make sure this city is making money. Woo! But more importantly, we are gonna work on an airport. Now, where is this airport gonna be, you might ask? Well, I've been thinking. We've got the tennis club over here, which is looking almighty. Ooh. We've got the rich people neighborhood right here and the farm district and then downtown is kind of over here So this is basically where the money is and this is where the money is being spent So the perfect location for the airport in my opinion would be somewhere on these new tiles Like maybe right over here now these plots cost a lot of money Okay, so that's a little bit of an issue, but in my opinion This is one of the best locations for it now to make sure we can afford all of that we are obviously gonna do what I said. We're gonna look at level one and we need to add 11 more level one suppliers. So we're gonna go to industrial and we're just gonna put a couple of classic factories down. I'll add a little bit of a new road. I don't want this to be too ugly, but also not too pretty, you know? Why don't we do it like this? It's a little different. Boop. Boop, boop. That's four factories. Beautiful. And then we can top up our little offices as well. Although maybe those offices shouldn't be near our factory area. I feel like office buildings work better somewhere else. Like close to our train station. Bleep, bloop. Now look at that. We now have 10 suppliers. Wait, do, did the offices count for suppliers or not? Because that's actually something I want to want to know. No, they don't. Oh, okay. Oops. What do you count for then? No. Oh, they boost shops. So this is, it, it's, it's pointless. It's boosting nothing. We basically need a whole lot more classic factories. That's kind of weird, but I guess it's the truth. Maybe I built too many level one shops. That might be one of the issues. But now we're at 20 suppliers and 17 buyers. And I believe this number went up as well. So, okay, good. Level two. Remember, we're just opt optimizing right now. So we've got 23 suppliers and 12 buyers in level two. So we need more commercial buildings that are level two. Uh, let's add a little Robux cafe. Okay, it already went dark. Great, love that. I didn't really put anything down near the train station. So over here, we can add some things. A small American shop, a motel. Cause I mean, we are near the train station. A Japanese shop, look at that. A toy shop, although this one is uh, kind of snowy. So we're gonna put this one on the mountain. And that's looking a whole lot better. I think we only need one more shop. So let's put another Robux cafe down. Where will you go? I realized that like through the end of this series, the way to really optimize is to kind of remove level one buildings and just go for the max level buildings, but we're not there yet. Okay, level two, optimize. Level three. Oh, our coins per second is going up. We need more suppliers in level three. Okay, so then we go back to our factory section and we're gonna be rolling in money after this. I, I, I kind of want to get, um, yeah, street lamps here. Bloop, bloop. Okay, so this is our kind of level one factory section. Uh, I guess our level three factory section could be over here, right? So what we got for level three, we've got medium American factories, small modern factories. Ooh. Okay, you know what? This is this is better. This is better. We'll do something the same style. So let's keep in mind, uh, we just need up to 22 suppliers. Small modern factory. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. How's that looking? Bad at five. The reason I'm confused is because I'm not sure if like one factory actually counts for one. Like what if it counts for more? There we go, warehouse. Warehouses might do different things though. 
Not enough workers. Hmm. Oh, they all don't have enough workers now. Oh my goody goodness. Are they not educated enough? That might be the case, you know? Okay, some more small modern factories. And then this should be topped up. Yeah, so the active suppliers and buyers is the same. However, we have a zero commercial income. And that's, I think, because we need more workers. All right, it's all about optimization at the start of this video. So we're just gonna optimize here. Ooh, we got some large parking lots. Oh, cool. I guess level three three housing is what we need i'm not too sure you know like i actually am not look at that it's beautiful this is absolutely stunning residential buildings we're gonna grab level three housing and we can either have large suburban houses or medium american houses but i think the large suburban houses kind of fit in over here okay you know what we'll do a mix of everything i think that's the best look at that that looks incredible wow look at that how beautiful it's a real american suburb y'all look at that that is really just Beautiful. Large park. <laughs> I didn't really take these into account. Oh my god, baseball field. Oh, I unlocked so many things. I had no idea. We're gonna put some playgrounds inside of these little roundabouts. Obviously, things are gonna look a little prettier when I really focus on that. I just haven't focused on it. Okay, I am sorry. Oh no, I, I should have I should have used these median roads. That would have looked much better. I wish I could easily change them, but I believe I have to remove all the other roads. I'll do that later. So how are we looking now? How are we looking? Are, are, are these people still complaining? Yes, operating normally. So these guys have buyers and workers. So how are we doing for level three? Oh my God, yes. 772 coins per second. That's not bad, you know, this is working out. And then for level four, we've got nothing because obviously I, I really haven't optimized level four yet. But look at this level three neighborhood over here. It's really starting to take shape. You know what? Like this is this is like the medium medium class citizen uh, neighborhood, you know? So we're gonna fence this off just because just we can. I Want things to look good and neat and then we're gonna add some plants what should we do we should do oak right the palm trees just always look a little bit out of place man good old country living over here oh my goody goodness well it's not really country but it's not exactly city living i mean they're near um that train station that we talked about but you know it's it's nice look at this nice neighborhood i'm proud dude i'm a good builder i'm a good builder all right let's finish the fencing of this area so these people feel a little bit safe and done Okay, can we uh somehow make this a little better? Maybe just some fencing over there. Wow, look at that driving. And we'll add a little we'll add a little string light for effect. And you know what? We can actually paint that. Oh the neighborhood. That's a nice neighborhood. That's a really nice neighborhood. And they're not far away from the school area, which over there, which is over there. Um, by the way, we, we should not forget. I kind of forget this all the time. We need to make sure that we have bus stops. So we can put a bus stop, um, like there, I guess. Oh, some more airport things here. Look at that airport entrance. Oh, we're gonna once we got that money, man. We're gonna ooh, we're gonna we're gonna spending it all. Would you like to buy this plot of land for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Well, I got one point six million now. Money going up quick, man. Look at that. 800K left, and I think we can buy another plot. Another plot of land for 750 grand. That rhymes. Now, these ones cost a million. Oh, but they're big. But here, obviously, we're gonna extend downtown. We gotta do it. And this is also where the airport's gonna be, so... I'm gonna remove some of these railroads. Now, I have a theory, okay? I think railroads can just be floating. I found out we've got a, um... What's it called? Slanted railroad now. And I think we can remove the ground underneath of it once it's been placed. I might be wrong, but let's try this. So we've got the slanted train tracks. Obviously this is gonna remove some realism from the game, but I think it doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna go back to ground and subtract this grass. Look, oh my God, it literally works, man. You can have everything floating. And then it doesn't matter where this train is going. Like it could go over buildings, you know? That's kind of what we want. So we're gonna do that over here. We're basically gonna uh, increase the height of this railway and we're just gonna connect it <laughs> while it's floating. Oh my God, can we literally do that? Oh, we need one more. Over this neighborhood, yeah. That's kind of epic. All right, so like I said, we'll uh, remove move all those tiles later but this will help expanding our downtown area it's kind of like a tram you know okay so slanted railroad over here over here over here wow oh my god this is epic and then we are gonna just fill the rest up with some train tracks bleep bloop 
Bleep. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. And now we remove it. Please tell me it's not gonna all fall down. I haven't seen that. It's kind of like Minecraft. You can build things on top of each other. Oh my god, this literally works. Now, if I can find like a like a support pole kind of for looks, I'll do it. But right now, I think this is a genius way to do this. You can do this with the highway later on as well. Oh my god, look at that. You can walk through it and everything. I believe it's it, I believe it works. Look. Oh, yeah! We've got a floating railway, which means we can now start on our airport. Oh my goody goodness. And later on, we can do the same with the highway. We can just literally have a highway floating above the city. Uh, so we need a roadway. Now, I think it's good to connect these two intersections over here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. There you go. And then let's have a look how big that airport building is. Where is it? Uh, we got public services. And we've got airport segments, airport control tower, airport entrance. 500 grand. I can't even afford that, I think. Um, but it's, what, three blocks big? Okay. So just like that, we are going to put the airport building ooh, over here. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a nice location. Not enough cash. Ugh. I guess we'll have to wait. Okay, we're a little bit later. Um, I have 2.4 million. Airport entrance, 500 grand. Oh, wow. But that looks good. Look at that beautiful airport entrance. Airport segment? That's only 10 grand. Airport gate? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to really, like, create roads. Inner roads. Okay, let's put a bus stop right over here. And... You know what? We'll put two on the sides as well. Oh, we literally have an airport taxiway. That's cool. So what about that runway then? Does it matter which way it's like looking? Oh, but this is this is a beautiful airport. This is going to be epic, guys. Boom! The runway! All right, so I'm building like a little taxiway around it. So my thought process is that passengers are on this side and kind of like hangers and stuff are on this side. Is that correct? Is that is that a little weird? Oh, oh, oh! There's a plane, bro! Oh! Oh my god. Oh, yes. Whoa, I can stand on it. Is it already on function? Oh my goodness. I had no idea. Oh, it's a green airport with a lot of pollution. <laughs> Okay, we'll build some uh, we'll build some warehouses and stuff on it as well. I kind of want to make this look really cool. So what else we got? So, so we got some gates. I'm guessing the gate has to be connected like that. I don't know. Like it's got an arrow. I don't know how to connect these gates. I'm not gonna lie. I I have no idea. Oh wait 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 wait. I get it. I get it. Airport segment. Aha! Yeah yeah. That's it. So these segments they're for our gates. Oh that looks terrible. Well, I guess we won't have one on this side. Instead we can have a tower. Oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That looks amazing. Bro, look at that plane coming in. Oh, nice, sweet landing, dude. Okay, so we've got three gates. We've got the control tower. We've got all kinds of seating areas. In here is the shopping center and check-in and stuff like that. Great. Now, I think it's time we fence this thing off. Realistically, the railroad should have also had a connection here. I don't know if we can manage to do that. Look at it. Oh, the sun just got up. It's looking so good. Okay, police station. We've got a police station here and a fire station. Realistically, they are probably going to work for our citizens. But I kind of want to pretend like this is all a part of the, um, um, what's it called? Airport, of course. All right, here we got some solar because we are a green airport. There you go. Where's our fencing? I always forget where the fencing is. Here we go. Okay, so obviously... An airport requires a large area. What I'll do with the rest, I'm not too sure yet. I wish we could get some, like, airplane props, but maybe we can later. There you go. Now it's all fenced off. Ooh. Let's remove some of those axis fencing. Look at that. What a good-looking airport we've got. I can't believe I built this myself. Oh, wow. What an absolute stunning airport. Okay. We're gonna call this Jelly's Airport. Very simple. A pyramid here. <laughs> Is that weird? It's like Las Vegas. You know, we also have pyramids there, right? Okay, painted some of the surrounding areas. Like I said, I kind of wanted some warehousing here. So realistically, these are going to be industrial buildings. What about a large warehouse? Okay, you know, that looks really good. I have an idea. This is going to be a great idea. Like I said, these should be kind of like airplane hangers. Now we're going to turn them the wrong way around because that way I think we can... Uh, what is this? Oh, you know what? That, that, that looks good as well. I think we can 
can kind of pretend that this is a really successful airport. All right, this is the commercial section. And here we've got some fuel tanks. Obviously, these, this is not fuel, but kind of works though. It looks really good. So now we're just gonna fill this with concrete. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a security road, or at least we're pretending. So this is a real road, okay? And it's going to connect to the outside. That means that these buildings are actually functional. There we go, that's connected. But we're gonna pretend that there's kind of like a security thing over here. Can we can we put a prop down to kind of make it look like we've got some security going on for our for our airport uh hangers? What we got? We got some props. We got hmm string lights. So nothing security wise. Highway signs. That looks that just looks really bad. The best thing I got is actually a bus stop. Look at that. <laughs> that really looks like a security point. We're just gonna leave it. It doesn't make sense, but we're gonna leave it. Now, those buildings I just placed down were level four industrial buildings, which means we're gonna have to fill up our little downtown with level four commercial buildings now. The large American shop. You see, this is why those railway roads just really work. This blends in beautifully. The medium modern shop. Can I even put that underneath that? Okay, I don't I don't really want it to collide because then it would just look ugly. And then because this is all level four, we can now finally put down some level four or housing. Now, oh my god, the Titan Tower? That is really cool. We're gonna put that down right there. Oh! Helipad at the top? <laughs> that actually works really well in this beautiful downtown district. So let's put one more down. Boom. Great. Dude, our city's looking magnificent. Are these guys still complaining? Operating normally. Yes! And you? Okay, this guy doesn't have enough workers. This guy doesn't have enough workers. This guy doesn't have enough workers. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we need a little bit more. All right, let's fill the rest of this up with a little bit of suburbanness, because I believe we need a little bit more. If we put a road underneath the railway, we can then put buildings next to it. How ge how how good is that? That's genius. Um, <laughs> what have I done, dude? I. Uh, Okay, let's not talk about that. The airport is done. We've got parking. We've got a little entrance area with fire station, police station, beautiful commercial area with solar panels, landing strip, and warehouses and hangars. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Click here for another video. And remember, leave a like for another episode.